Hello, Red Quasar. So, I actually have a showdown match for you guys here today. It is a showdown Tuesday. So, we'll go ahead and show you. My opponent chose the picture because of reasons you'll see later in the video. But, yeah, let's get it started, I think. So, I'm going to lay off with Genesect. He's going to lay off with Heatran, which this Heatran is rather bothersome to me. Um, and, like, yeah, showdown was lagging while I was recording. So,. If it stops and starts, that's why. Like, Showdown was... Con yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's why I kind of don't like Showdown. So I'm going to switch into Blissey, which he's going to predict my switch out, and go into a Heatran. And then he goes into Gliscor as I go into my Dawn Fan, which is uh, deceivingly my Stealth Rocker, but he's not, actually. It turns out he's actually a... Uh, a... Uh, what am I trying to think of? my attacker, a pretty good physical attacker. And so he's going to switch. I'm actually going to predict this switch into something special and as a result go into Blissey. And I actually messed up on the Blissey in Showdown. It's supposed to have soft boil, but it doesn't. So that kind of screwed with me a little bit during the match. Uh, but I'm going to run in just a sec, just because I'm not sure what this Rotom Wash is going to want to do. He goes for the Pain Split, gives me health back, which is awesome. I appreciate it. And I'm going to go for the U-turn and get that crit, which is going to very nicely reduce that Rotom's bulkiness. And then I'm going to bring in Nine Tails. He's going to go for the Volt Switch, predicting that switch into Nine Tails, predicting the Will O Wisp, of course. And then he's going to bring in Latios. And I don't. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have weather, so I figured I might as well let Nine Tails go down and see what I can do. So now he's going to switch into Latios and. Um. Yeah. Kill my Nine Tails. And then, of course, I'm going to. Brandon Genesect go for the U-turn, and then Brandon Landorus, expecting him to do something else. And I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks as he protects, so I get up my layer of Stealth Rocks, so that's nice. Kind of slows down his momentum a little bit. And now he's going to bring in his Latios, and I actually, actually end up doing a good prediction and stone edging him. But since I don't know, like, if this Latios is Specs or Scarf, I'm going to have to switch out. And then he shows the Roost. So, if I just stayed in... I might have taken him out, but I didn't stay in, so that sucks. And then I'm going to go for the Flamethrower, figuring, you know, he's probably going to go in his Glyce score. Chances are. And uh, that's what he does, so that's good. That that means I get some Flamethrower damage out there. And then I knew he was going to be wanting to go into a uh, Heatran to get the Flash Fire boost. So I switch into Donphan. And now he's going to bring in Rotom Wash just for Death Fodder, which is... Bleh. I could have spun away my rocks, but he had to death fodder his Rotom Wash, which sucks. So he's going to roost, and I'm going to rapid spin because I want those rocks gone, and I'm at full health so I could take whatever. Now I'm going to go for a nice shard, and he's going to go for a side shock, which doesn't do that much. Um, because, you know, hits on the defensive side. I go for the ice shard, don't quite KO him. And this is going to get a bit stally, but I really don't want him to have a free roost for various reasons. And again, sorry for the you know, lag in the gameplay. Showdown was lagging, which completely sucked. And I'm gonna go for the Ice Shard again, because I don't want him to have a free roost, but he's gonna actually end up getting more health than I'm going to want him to get. So I'm gonna bring in Genesect, and he's gonna go for the Draco Meteor, which, yeah, that did a lot of damage. So now he's gonna switch into his Gliscor, as I believe I just go for another U-turn in case he wanted to stay in, predicting me to, I don't know, do something. And so I'm going to switch out into my Dawn Fan, which unfortunately is not at full health. On the upside, I do have Ice Shard. So, yeah, he brings in Genesect, and I go for the Ice Shard, and here's the bad thing. I'm not going to get back to full health with this Leftovers, which means I can't threaten this Genesect really. And I sacrificed Dawn Fan at the complete round time. I really should have sacrificed something else, but I wasn't sure what he was going to do. And so he's going to bring in Heatran, which is, uh, okay. And I'm going to go for a Seismic Toss, you know, figuring he's probably going to try and get the Flamethrower boost with that Flash Fire. And I did not want that. So now I'm going to bring in Terrakion, as I know he's probably, chances are he's probably going to protect. And then he brings in his Gliscor. And I fabulously predict the Gliscor switch in and go for the Stone Edge. Which is great. Now he's going to bring in Breloom. 
which of course is a huge threat. So I'm going to switch out into my Blissey, but he just goes for the Mock Punch, which is probably should have switched to Landris, honestly. Not really sure why I didn't. Um, here I decide to, but like, really, it's kind of too late. Because if I had to switch, if I had switched into Landris right away, I thought, you know, it would have been okay. But I figured he was going to go for the spores, so that's why I didn't. And he's going to get two bullet seeds, which of course is going to be enough to revenge kill me. So I'm going to need to save Terrakion for a little bit later. And bring in Landris again, just to weaken his attack some more. And hopefully wake up. Um, which, here's a risky play, because I'm not really sure if I'm going to wake up. So he goes for Bullet Seed right here, and if he outright kills me and I don't wake up, this is pretty much GG. Um, so I'm kind of fearing right now because if I don't wake up in like this next turn, I'm done. And so, guess what's going to happen? I actually wake up, but of course, he sacrifices Breloom. So, doesn't really matter. Now he's going to burn in Genesec, I believe, get a special attack race. Yeah, special attack race. And, uh, you know, go for the U-turn just to KO me and get his Genesec out. Here, I was like, it was at this point that I was like, I should have not fought her Donphan. Because Donphan would have been highly useful. Because Donphan can effectively threaten out the rest of his team. But since I, uh don't have Don fan, I can't throw out the rest of the team. And it's at this point that I decided to look at Blissey, and I'm like, I did not just not get soft boiled, did I? Yes, I did. I didn't put soft boiled on this stupid Blissey because I was rushing to make the team, because I had made the team for Wi-Fi, and then he's like, oh, but I want a showdown, and I'm like, oh, well, I'll have to make the team really fast. So this is what happens. Um, he's gonna go for the protect. I figured close combat was a safe, a pretty safe bet at this point, cause it should KO Latios. He's gonna leave in Heatran as death fodder, and if this Latios is timid, it's gonna outspeed me, which, wouldn't you know, it is a timid Latios. Should have probably gone for the Stone Edge, but it didn't matter, so he's gonna go for the Draco Meteor. And, yeah. Terrakion goes down to bring in Genesect, and then he's going to KO me with Draco Meteor. He's going to get a crit, but it doesn't really matter at this point, um, because, yeah. He's actually going to miss the first one, and I was hoping, you know, that I'd keep, he'd miss, like, I don't know, he'd miss the second one. He gets a crit, doesn't really matter at this point, but that's game, so see you guys later.